So let's recap April very quickly. We came in sixth place. We're having the wettest April on record for here in Clarksburg. But what about the other areas? Well, Morgantown and Elkins. Elkins placed at ninth place. Morgantown 13th place. All areas received five, six inches of rain. So it has been a very soggy month on our satellite and radar right now. We're finally seeing things dry out, but those clouds want to linger. So it will take quite some time until we see that sunshine. It will be on the way for tomorrow. Tomorrow, but I do want to point a couple things out here. First, we have this high pressure that's drying us out nicely. The low that brought all that rain towards the end of April yesterday and a few days before that has finally pushed out to the northeast. So we no longer have to worry about that. However, we have this other low centered across Minnesota, northern Minnesota and North Dakota that's going to try trailing across the north here and that could produce some clouds for tomorrow and even a couple raindrops, but not expecting anything severe. Behind that system, System, we have another round of rain on the way for Sunday night. So local temperatures right now are on the cooler side because we had that cold front pass on by and we really haven't been able to improve our temperatures since that time. No rebounding temperatures here. We are about 10 degrees below average in the upper 40s, lower 50s. We do have some mid 50s, but very few of them. Harrisville and Weston at 55 and our cold spot brought to you by Climate Control Heating and Cooling Incorporated would be those upper 40s. Sutton's at 48, 49 over in Webster Springs, as well as Elkins and Kingwood at those marks. As we make our way into tonight, it will be very similar to last night. Feeling on the cool side, the damp side, that ground is saturated. The good news is we're pretty much done with the rain here, at least for the next 24 hours. We will have a couple clouds that need to clear out in the overnight hours, light winds. Now, as we go on our hour by hour model here, we're entering into tomorrow morning with a nice amount of sunshine, temperatures in the lower to mid 40s, and that sunshine sticks around for most of the day as well as the dry conditions. But remember, we have that system way up to the north of us that could produce a raindrop, a rogue raindrop in our area. But I'm expecting more afternoon clouds from that system more than anything. As we go into Sunday, however, we will start to catch up and that rain will eventually make its way into our area. We could even have a nice moderate to heavy downpour uh, in some spots by Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. So keep that in mind. Now, Mother's Day, nine days away. I suggest go ahead and get your gifts now because things have been delayed with shipping and all of that. If you're trying to make plans for Mother's Day, our temperature outlook suggests that we could be on the cool side for that uh, weekend. So be aware of that. This is just an early prediction, but Storm Prediction Center, excuse me, Climate Prediction Center is saying uh, that it could be on the cool side. As far as this upcoming week, our temperatures are cooler, so we could be on that trend.